Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, uh, we're finishing up something that I started a long time ago and just haven't had found time to get around to. If you remember way back in a prior video, um, we had some bed leveling issues with the uh, DaVinci Dural. And one of the things, so we worked out the bed leveling and then we also, uh, as I mentioned, uh, placed it on a stand to level it on the table because one of the issues that we're seeing is not only you know um, obviously with the you know extruder coming down on the bed you want to have the bed level but also if the table it's sitting on is tipping it obviously forward or, or sideways like that you're going to have gravity working against you now <clears throat> one of the things I've discovered is is by doing that has knock on wood really improved my prints so one of the things I was using actually a leveling table I had built for my CNC router so I wanted to build something a little bit more um, formalized a little bit more fitted uh, to the DaVinci so here it finally is so <clears throat> excuse me what I did is I started out with some 500 millimeter maker rail and then I printed out some feet and I've done some uh, uh, I think uh, other blog posts and stuff on the feet they're out there on Thingiverse you can get them and so basically what I used is a, a quarter 20 uh, bolt uh, I think these are about an inch and a half long a nut on the bottom nut and washer on the bottom nut washer and lock washer on the top <clears throat> uh, they are adjustable and then uh, I used half inch aluminum so I mounted the half inch aluminum <coughs> excuse me again uh, into the maker rail on the sides, tap these out with number eight uh, screws. So that's attached there. Now, if you notice, I set these a little bit back from the. Uh, you notice things are moving because the uh, Da Vinci printer is at the other end of this table and it's going back and forth, wobbling it, which is uh, something I want to bring up dealing with this build in a bit. But uh, uh, as you notice, I've placed this backwards. Now, I actually thought about pushing it forward a little bit. However, what I was concerned with is, is this has more rigidity than if I went forward. So that's why I went backwards and, and closed the stance a little bit instead of probably making the stance a little bit longer. Um, you could use, I actually thought about using another piece of maker rail and actually setting it on the maker rail and having the maker rail down here and using angle brackets, but that just seemed to be overkill. And then also it seemed to make, it would make this set a little bit higher and that's where that, that, that motion you saw of the, the rapids uh, shaking the table. I wanted to keep this roughly as low as possible um, versus having a two maker rail sit one on top of another like this and then have feet because as you can see it would make it probably double, double as tall and, and that's what I wanted to avoid because get that center of gravity because one of the reasons it's shaking is the uh, CNC leveling bed that I have it sitting on now is probably about this high and that's part of the problem so I did want to lower the center of gravity also I built these uh, pucks for the uh, machine to sit on roughly my duo the feet are about 17 inches apart so as you can see here um, got more than enough clearance and I can adjust these there's a number eight screw with a nut centered in the maker rail uh, that attached these so you actually can loosen these and move these around if you want um, and basically what I did is I just took another maker rail in a smaller level and, and leveled these you know so I've leveled you know both going this way and this way and uh, I'll have to adjust it for where the actual printer setting but I just did this for set it up here for the video and did it to get a rough level because it is on the same table that this is running on. So uh, basically before I sat the printer on it I wanted to give uh, a little bit of look. Oh also one of the things that I did too is these are inch and a half uh, feet. Uh, went to Lowe's or I can't remember Lowe's or Home Depot <clears throat> one or the other and got felt feet. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I got felt feet uh, to put on here so these are sitting on the felt feet on the bottom. So. Um, so far it looks like pretty stable you know I put my weight on it about 300 pounds it, it seems to hold it without too much um, so that's pretty good so it should easily hold the, the Da Vinci so I, I don't know I'm considering uh, I'm thinking about cutting some neoprene uh, for here to go on top of here for the printer to sit on um, 
we'll see how it does with it once I put it on. So maybe I'll do that as a future or maybe get some bigger felt pads and put on the top of these pucks. I don't know yet, but I'm just going to try because the, the Da Vinci feet uh, do have a little rubber insert. So it is going to be rubber sitting on top of this. So it'd be, I guess it'd be no different than just sitting on this hard melamine uh, table surface anyway. So... Uh, what we'll do is I'm going to cut the video uh, and then as soon as it's finished printing I'm going to actually move this over, set the uh, uh, printer on it, and then we'll come back and see how it uh, all goes together. Oh, before I move the printer and set it up, one of the things I did want to show, and I think I've shown this in another video, is this is the bed leveler that I had made for my CNC machine actually to do uh, PCB boards in that it's got uh, very large low <coughs> excuse me leveling feet and it connects into the uh, rail inside the CNC um, so this is what we're replacing but this is what I use to level it off now notice that that you know how level it's sitting um, so this worked very well but because it doesn't cover the whole printer it sort of rocks you kind of see this and the higher level of center of gravity uh, isn't the best but I wanted to see if this worked and I got to tell you, it's one of those things that kind of surprises you. Um, this really has worked because, again, you know, even though you keep the bed level within reference to the plane of the head, you know, you're still fighting gravity and how it sticks. So, again, I found having that that the bed is actually level to gravity or you know to the surface is, is very important rather than sitting cockeyed or at an angle. So. Anyways, I wanted to show this before I change it out, so now I'm going to go change it out, and I'll be back in a minute. Welcome back. So uh, we finished the moving the uh, Da Vinci onto the uh, uh, leveling stand, as you can see. So everything seems to be working good. Actually, I've done a couple of uh, print sets, actually. Uh, fairly complicated prints, and uh, knock on wood, it's worked very well. <clears throat> uh, shaking... I think, as you said at the beginning of this video, the shaking really didn't exist, which is uh, good. I mean, just a little tiny bit, but uh, shaking was greatly reduced. No problems with it uh, maintaining on top of the um, uh, pads there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So everything actually worked very well. So so really happy with the way that this whole project turned out. Wasn't a lot of money. Real nice addition. Um, actually, I'm going to be doing uh, very similar for the two up. Uh, next to it so basically I've already printed out the the feed for it so we're going to cut a piece of what we're going to do is uh, since it's already sitting on the uh, maker rail we're going to cut a piece of angle in the front we're going to leave it a little bit proud on each side and then use the feed on that to provide leveling so they'll sit next to one another here and they'll have leveling so we got the print uh, woo, feet printed out uh, on this so uh, Anyways, uh, just kind of wanted to give a follow-up. So, uh, again, highly recommend this over on the actual blog post. We'll have more information at uh, DIY3DTech.com. So, if you want more information, I'll have some below in the video, uh, in the YouTube, as well as over on the website. Also, uh, if this helped you out, uh, please hit like again. Uh, it's free to do. Just click the button below. It really helps us make more of these videos and do more of these things because it helps get the word out via YouTube. And uh, again, if this is the kind of stuff you like, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, a lot more of this coming. As I think I mentioned earlier in this video, we're starting a series on Tinkercad in OpenSCAD 2. Uh, regarding that, uh, we have uh, another laser cutter coming that I'll be doing uh, additional videos on uh, operation of that as well as uh, far more stuff on the CNC. Uh, actually, I have it on my list uh, over the Christmas holidays, probably to build another smaller CNC. Uh, so, got that going. Then we're finishing up the uh, other laser cutter over on the other side. We've ordered a new 2-watt laser for that, uh, a better one. So, when that comes in, I'll do a video on that. So, lots of stuff going on. So, subscribe to the channel. Look forward to a lot more great videos. And see you in the next one. Cheers.